Morning all. Just wanted to do the final reveal for the Dirty Mary Crazy Larry Charger. Um, as you know, this is the kit that I used, the Revell 69 Charger. Uh, the only thing I did was uh, this kit comes with the vinyl roof. So you could either sand that down to smooth or I bought the Revell 68 charger which has the exact same body just that it has a it has a hard top instead of the vinyl top so I just swapped the bodies out between those two kits um to watch my channel you probably know I'm not a huge Revell fan but I will say this is a this is a really nice kit uh, really nice and detailed uh, for the most part it fits pretty good um, it's a bit tight to get the body over the chassis but uh, and the uh, lower front valance here doesn't fit very well or at least on the one I had I had trouble it still doesn't fit that good but it's a bit better than what it was um, really the only I guess in my opinion the only ad advice I could give anybody is if you're planning on building a General Lee do yourself a favor and use this kit instead of that uh, MPC piece of garbage that they have uh, you'll get much much better results and you'll have a much much more enjoyable build if you use this kit to build your generally um, I just recently bought another one of these just for that uh, just to use for a generally and I'll do the same thing I'll buy the 68 kit and swap the bodies out uh, so, anyways, just give me a second here and uh, I'll show you the final result. Okay, guys, so here's the finished uh, product for the Dirty Mary Crazy Larry build. Um, for the most part, I'm really happy with how it came out. Um, however, I did make one very major mistake. Um, I was planning to take this build to the to the model show this year. Um, I was planning to put it on a base with a wall in the background. If you've ever seen the movie where they go to pick up the charger, that was my plan, anyways. But uh, again, you'll see most. Of you'll probably see right away the mistake that I made. But I'll go into it a bit more. Uh, at the end of this video so a um, couple of things I probably would have done different uh, the antenna here uh, I would have cut that off and actually used a small wire or something that was a bit more to scale uh, but anyways uh, the other thing I did was I used larger rear wheels tires really really happy with how that came out I used uh, wheels out of a Barracuda kit or tires sorry out of a barracuda kit and um, I cut the I guess I called it the receptacle on the back of the on the back of the original kit wheel and glued it to the back of the barracuda wheel back and that pushed the wheels out a little bit and also aided in fitting them on there but really really happy with how how the wheels came out. Um, the other thing I would have done, uh, I wish these front rims were inserted a bit further into the tires. Uh, they're sitting a little bit proud of what they should be. But again, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Like I said, the rear stance, uh, I'm really, really happy with how that how that looks. Compared to the movie car. Uh, I did not hinge the hood. But there's a look under the hood. Uh, it's all been weathered. Uh, I'll give you a better look at this and under the hood now in a second, as, long as, uh, as well as the bottom of the car because I weathered that as well. Uh, 
So yeah, just let me uh, switch cameras here and I'll uh, give you a better look under the hood and better look at the bottom and then I'll go into the steak that I made. So we'll be right back. Okay guys, so just to give you a better look uh, under the hood. Um, so as you see, I did some weathering and dusting and stuff in there. Um, uh, if you remember from my earlier videos, the reason why it's red under the hood is um, I kind of wanted to add a little bit of interest. So because the color on the car is actually a 69 Mopar color, um, I kind of, and in things that are red, the car was actually painted for the movie. So I just kind of tried to emulate that with the overspray basically saying that the car was once red but it was painted for the movie uh, I'll show you the bottom weathering as well so, so I'll just show you what I use for the weathering uh, so you saw in my weathering video I use these Dach O'Brien's powders for most of it most of the chassis I also use this other set of weathering powders that I have here for the dust and for the exhaust I use this um, I must have threw out the package I use this Rustall which is a four which is a four step process Basically, there's actual rust suspended in this, so you brush it on. When the liquid evaporates away, it leaves the rust behind. So that's what I use to do the exhaust. <clears throat> now on to the elephant in the room, the mistake that I made. If you look here in the back, hard to see because of the light, but you can see right there, there's no rear lights in the car. The reason is um, in my earlier videos I was wanting to put the front and back panels on because uh, I wanted to paint it all as one unit. So when I was doing that I looked at the instructions and the indication here is that the lights actually go in from the back uh, from the you know you slide them in from the outside in actual fact, they don't. You actually need to install them from the back side. Um, I don't know if you can see it here. Here's the actual light. Oh, that's not going to focus. But anyways, there's a lip there. So the light actually has to be inserted from the inside. Uh, but the instructions didn't make that clear. And... Uh, by the time I realized it, I already had the chassis and the body made it, made it. and I thought about taking it apart again, but the, the fit was so tight that I just, I didn't want to risk probably making a worse mistake than what I already made, so I just left it as it was. But uh, just a note to anybody who's building this kit and who want to attach the front and rear, or the, the rear valance, the front valance you can't, but the rear valance um, tail light panel if you want to do that before you paint to be sure you install your lights before before you uh, make the body with the chassis so so yeah so because of that I decided I'm not going to take it to the show it just looks too stupid so I'll just put it on my shelf probably build another one a little further down the road I saw a really cool picture of a um, rusted out charger that was painted like this for the Dirty Mary Crazy Larry color scheme. So I'll probably do that. I have enough. I have enough of the uh, scale finishes here to do another car. So that's probably what I might end up doing. Uh, so, anyways, guys, that was a bit of a long video. But um, 
So that's the final on the Dirty Mary Crazy Larry Charger. Uh, like I said, except for those rear lights, I was really, really happy with how it came out. So uh, something to keep in mind for the next one, I guess. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you stay tuned for the next videos. これからみんなでめちゃくちゃ踊って騒ごう騒ごう。